Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to connect a Apple Bluetooth keyboard, a wireless keyboard, up via Bluetooth to your iPhone so that you can actually type away on your keyboard, QWERTY keyboard touch typing at top speed into text messages, uh, into emails, um, and you can also use these arrow keys in the bottom right corner of the keyboard to get around the um, apps and the options within the apps themselves. So let's get going. First I'm going to turn on voiceover. I'll go, uh, I'm just clicking on settings and general uh, accessibility. And here we go, voiceover. Voiceover on settings, voiceover. Accessibility. Back button. So voiceover just speaks the items that I'm touching. To select an item, touch it. Voiceover practice. Home. So coding folder. Free apps. The next thing to do is Double tap to, to open. The next thing to do is to go into settings and switch on Bluetooth. Settings. One new item. Double tap to open. So accessibility. Back button. We have to leave accessibility and go back to the main menu in settings. Accessibility. General. Back button. So yeah, let's go back again. General. Settings. Back button. Uh, so let's go back one more time. Settings. Heading. So I'm now in the main menu for settings. Rows 1 to 9 off. Airplane mode. Wi-Fi. Personal hots. Notification. Location services. Carrier. O2. UK. Button. So there you go. This is the main menu for settings. I'm on an iPhone 4 with iOS 5. And so for me, settings where I find Bluetooth. Rows 9 to 8. General. Button. Is actually back in general. So here we go. General. Settings. Back About button. halfway down. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Off. Button. I'm going to go in there and switch it on. Bluetooth. General. Back button. Bluetooth. Off. So I'm going to double, double... tap to toggle setting. Bluetooth. On. And so if we look down here... Devices. Heading. Searching. Dimmed. Searching dimmed. Now discoverable. Heading. OK, so there we go. Bluetooth's on. The phone is now discoverable and it's searching for devices. So put that on the down on the table. Pick up your... Apple Bluetooth wireless keyboard. Now first of all we want to make sure we know if it's on or off. That's quite hard to tell um, even in real sighted. Um, there's a tiny light up here on the top right hand corner um, but it's usually off whether the keyboard itself is on or off. So first thing we're going to do is um, this bulgy cylinder at the top at the back if we go to the left hand end there's a slot um, and I'm going to turn that slot uh, and unscrew this Alert. whole end. Samage's keyboard would like to pair with your iPhone. Enter the pin code 4106 on Samage. Cancel. But okay, Bluetooth. ignore that. Now discoverable. Heading. That's going to, we'll come to that in a second. So unscrew that end cap and take it out completely. That guarantees that the keyboard is completely off. So now we're going to screw that back in, this end cap. Um, and then we're going to go right to the other end of that bulgy cylinder and directly opposite that end cap is the on off button for the whole keyboard. Now I'm going to hold this on for about five seconds until it goes from a solid light to a flashing light. Um, now obviously if you can't see that you just have to hold it on for five seconds. So here we go. Ready, steady, go. Okay, so it started flashing actually after about seven seconds, Alert. so I'd recommend... Samage's keyboard would like to pair with your iPhone. Enter the pin code 1429 on Samage's keyboard, followed by the return or enter key. So I'd actually recommend holding that down for eight seconds or more to guarantee it goes into pairing mode. Now, as you just heard, the keyboard wants to pair with the phone. It's Alert. asking... Pairing unsuccessful. Make sure Samage's keyboard is turned on. In range and ready to pair. Bluetooth. Okay. Button. Bluetooth. Not paired. Now discoverable. Heading. So let's try that again. I'm just going to switch it off and switch it on again. So I'm going to hold this down for five seconds. Two, three, four, 
five. Now I can see the light, so I know that's gone off. Now I'm going to hold it down for another eight seconds to switch it on and into pairing mode. Here we go. Ready, steady, on, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alert. Samager's keyboard would like to pair with your iPhone. Enter the pin code 7172 on Samager's keyboard, followed by the return or enter key. 7172 on the keyboard, followed by enter. Here we go. 7172, enter. Bluetooth. Now discoverable. Heading. Samager's keyboard. Not connected. Button. Samages keyboard connected button. All right. Well, I just tapped it once more. This on-off button on the right-hand end of the cylindrical bulge of the keyboard, and it's just said connected. Anyway, I'll show you a bit of what it can do. So we can actually go home just on the keyboard itself, the Apple keyboard. The way we can do that is. There are four keys to the left of this spacebar. Uh, the middle two of those four are Control and Alt. If I hold those two and I hit the H key, home. that takes me Settings. home. One new item. Double tap to open. I'm now in the list of apps, and I can use the left and right keys to go between the apps. New stand folder. Camera. Aku weather. Maps. Voice memos. Maps. Aku weather. Double tap to open. And a double tap on the keyboard, if you can't be bothered to touch the screen if you're typing away, it's just the up and down keys together. So that's AccuWeather loading up. Humidity. Button. Knee. Two degree sign. Not the most accessible to voiceover, I'm afraid. Hourly. Tap. Daily. Tap. F wind speed. Well, that's a disappointment. Anyway, we'll go back home. So I'll do the middle two of those four keys to the left of the space bar. And H again. Home. Page one of eight. Adjustable. Now if I do it again, I get the spotlight. And I can just type in an app that I'm looking for. For instance, uh, top hit set train line, free set train line, and then I can just load that up. So thanks very much for watching. That's how you connect a Bluetooth keyboard to your iPhone.